You know, we do live in South Florida, mm -hmm. one of the boating capitals of the world, and these in particular are a hazard to boaters in our waterways, at-risk and derelict boats sitting for months or even longer. And today, multiple agencies announced an operation to clean up the blight while giving boat owners a chance to remove their vessel without penalty. NBC6 anchor Chris Hush shows us the problem and a hopeful solution. Statewide, there were more than 900 open cases concerning derelict boats. That's according to FWC. And today, a multi-agency operation was launched to rid our waterways right here in South Florida of these derelict vessels. FWC took us along for the ride. A lot of them at, at night have no illumination at all, so... They're very, very dangerous. These are the sites Officer Tyler Dunn with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission sees on a daily basis. Dangerous vessels partially visible, along with fuel and other hazardous materials leaking into the water. Uh, they're also a great uh, pollution risk to our waters and our marine life. Not to mention the blight in Miami-Dade's economic jewel, Biscayne Bay. Over the years, has the problem gotten exponentially worse? I think it has uh, over the years. I mean, we're getting more and more boaters, more and more people are buying boats and they're, you know, they want to keep them on the water and they buy them and then they don't realize how much it costs to maintain them. We were there as multiple agencies, including FWC, City of Miami Marine Patrol, and Miami-Dade's illegal dumping unit launched Operation Clean Sweep. For the next several days, authorities will be inspecting at-risk boats and tagging derelict vessels. This year, FWC has already removed 737 derelict vessels from the state's waterways. The average is 600 per year. How long does that process typically take? Yes, it all depends. It depends on tracking down the owner. And that can take months or longer. Not to mention, it can cost the state up to $24,000 per removal. You will be subject to arrest and privileges to register any vehicle or vessel in the state of Florida will be revoked until you have paid the amount it costs to be removed and destroyed fully. These agencies giving boaters a chance to apply for the vessel turn-in program, also called VTIP, before they face stiff penalties. Approved applications will have their vessels removed for free. Biscayne Bay is our economy. Nearly 100 applications have already been approved for the VTIP program. If you're interested, you can go to myfwc.com and then search for VTIP. In Miami, I'm Chris Hush, NBC6 News.